One of the small but really impactful ways that we're listening to the needs of citizens is through a lived experience group that's currently being developed and that will listen to the voices of carers, um, children and young people that have been involved in the child protection system as well as look at the different perspectives from our workforce. I guess we're always looking at ways that we can listen to people that have um, some pretty traumatic experiences and, and are pretty vulnerable but sometimes when people come out the other side they're the best people to inform the system of the future and any opportunity that we can take to listen to people as an organisation we definitely um, seek to do. So from my perspective as the Chief HR Officer the priority projects that we've got is both looking after the workforce we've got but also building and bringing in the workforce of the future. So we know that our workforce experiences things like vicarious trauma and burnout, and it's not lost on me some of the situations that some of our employees are faced with every day. So what we are looking at doing is a whole range of retention strategies that keep our people that we have in the workplace well and safe at the moment. But we're also working closely with our university partners and different career pathway entry points to make sure that we have opportunities to bring in a future workforce because unfortunately we do find ourselves in a growing market and we do need to continue to build um, roles such as residential care and, and other factors. I think the thing that I've enjoyed most about today is the fresh ideas and innovative perspectives, connecting with colleagues and peers and just thinking about in the context of my business in child protection, how we can then work to do things a little bit differently to ultimately positively impact the lives of the vulnerable children and young people we work with.